everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I have three Valentine's Day DIYs to share with you. These are all really easy and inexpensive to make and you can use them as home decor all year round. Now let's go ahead and get started. For my first DIY, I'm going to be using one of these tall bases from Dollar Tree as well as some contact paper that I will be using to make a heart. After cutting out a piece of the contact paper, I folded it in half and I cut out a heart. And then I placed the heart onto my base. Now I'm going to be mixing this fine gold glitter with some fine silver glitter. And this is the mixture of glitters that I will be using for the rest of my projects. To add my glitter onto my base, I will be using Mod Podge. I spread a layer of Mod Podge all over the base and sprinkled on the glitter. After sprinkling on the glitter, I removed the sticker and I let the glue completely dry. Once that had completely dried, I applied a second coat of Mod Podge and glitter to the base. Once my second coat of Mod Podge had completely dried, I applied my heart sticker back onto my base so that I could seal it with some Mod Podge spray. You could also seal it with regular Mod Podge, but I did this to make it faster. After applying the Mod Podge, I removed the sticker and I let that dry. Now I'm going to be decorating it with this gold adhesive diamond wrap that I bought at Dollar Tree. I cut my diamond wrap into a singular strip to place around the edges of the heart. But to make it easier to bend around the heart, I am going to be cutting the string on one side of the wrap, being careful not to cut all the way through. For the bottom of the base, I am going to be using a strip of three rows of diamond wrap. For the top of the base, I used a strip of two rows. The diamond wrap kept falling off because the adhesive wasn't strong enough, so I decided to go back and reinforce it with some E6000. And this is how my first DIY turned out. You could use it as both a candle holder or a flower base. And what I love about using the color gold is that you could use it as home decor all year round. For my second project, I am going to be decorating this home sign that I bought at Dollar Tree and I am going to begin by cutting off the string on the back. I am going to be using this metallic pure gold paint that I bought at Walmart to paint the entire sign. After I finished painting my sign, I let the paint completely dry. Now I'm going to be using Mod Podge, some clear crushed glass that I bought at Michael's, and a combination of silver and gold glitter. I spread a layer of Mod Podge on top of the sign. Then I sprinkled on the crushed glass and on top of that I will be sprinkling on the glitter. I let the Mod Podge completely dry and when it was dry, I shook off the excess. I'm going to be sealing everything in with some Mod Podge clear sealer. And this is how my sign ended up looking. 
I don't think the camera is doing it justice. It looks way better in person. The combination of the glitters with the crushed glass looks beautiful. For my third DIY, I'm going to be using these wine glasses that I bought at Dollar Tree and a piece of contact paper that I will be using to make a heart. I placed a heart at the bottom of each glass. Then I placed a marker on top of a roll of tape so that I can make a straight line all across the glass. Then I placed painter's tape all around the glass trying to stay on top of the marker line I just drew. After placing the tape I took some alcohol and I wiped away the marker line. Now I'm going to be using Mod Podge and my gold and silver glitter mixture to decorate my glass. I spread a layer of Mod Podge onto my glass and then I sprinkled on the glitter. Then I carefully removed the sticker heart and the tape from the glass and I let my glue completely dry. Once the first coat had dried I applied a second coat of Mod Podge and glitter onto my glass. and I let that completely dry. Once it was dry, I applied a last coat of Mod Podge to seal in my glitter. Once my Mod Podge had completely dried, I took some of these heart stickers that I bought at Dollar Tree to decorate my glass, and I will be sticking them onto my wine glasses using E6000. I placed the E6000 at the edge of the glitter, and then I placed my heart stickers on top of that, and I did that all around the glass. After I finished placing on the gems, I let the glue completely dry. And this is how my wine glasses ended up looking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas from it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Okay.